Hello, Colts Nation, and what's up, No Horse and Family? Welcome back to another episode of the No Horsing Around podcast. As always, I am one of two dudes talking Colts and one of your hosts, Stephen Burton. And today we're continuing the series in regards to player spotlights through the first week of camp. We've talked about a range of them. We've talked about Paris Campbell and Naheem Hines. And today I got another one for you guys. I can't wait to hear the responses from you guys. But before we get to who that is, please, you guys, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, comment, all those great things. Ding the bell. Make sure you don't miss anything, especially as we get closer to the season. And comment. Comments are huge. I've said it in the last two videos. Tell me what you think about this one. Tell me if there's a player you want us to cover during training camp that you want to hit on with these spotlights. We'd love to do them for you guys. So let's kind of jump right in. Who are we talking about today, you guys? Who are we talking about? We're talking about Julian Blackman, the playmaker, the ball hawk. Okay, so let's review Julian really quickly. Julian had he, a, a really good rookie season, called game in several games, looked to be that center field ball hawk Safety that we were looking for is opposite of Kari Willis. Kari has since retired, obviously, and that that's going to be filled hopefully by you know <clears throat> Nick Cross, which we may talk about him on a different video. But then he goes into his sophomore season, his second season, playing well, and tears his Achilles in practice, and a lot of people are concerned because it was it was good bit into the season. And all he's done is respond, respond, respond. I mean, he was a full go in basically all the offseason activities in the in in the voluntary mini camps, in the involuntary mini camps, in the OTA. And now he started training camp as a full go, and I believe taking first team reps. And I believe he is also the one who tipped the ball that caused the Nick Cross interception on Matt Ryan in the first day of practice. So he looks to be back, and he is the ball hawk. Like I said, the ball hawk safety that the Colts need. He is a la, he's not Bob Sanders. Everyone knows how I feel about Bob Sanders, my favorite player of all time. He's not the thumper, right? He's not that, but he is that Ed Reed type. You know, years ago when we drafted Malik Hooker, he got kind of the nod from Coach Pagano as Ed Reed type. That's It's Julian Blackman. Julian Blackman has Ed Reed in him. And I know that's going to cause people in the comments because we got Baltimore fans and I'd love to hear their comments on him. But he has that Ed Reed ability to no, you know, no ball, see ball, go get ball. Right. That That's that's what Julian does. And the question is, how is his Achilles? How is it when he backpedals and plants? Is he feel comfortable? He seems to feel comfortable so far through camp and he's showing out and we need him to show up because he's now the veteran in that position group with Kari retiring. And he's looked every bit of it so far. I've been thoroughly impressed with how he's come back from the injury, how quickly. And that proves right there. There's just, there's never a time frame that you can stick to per injury because it depends on the player and the body and how that player's body responds. And Julian seems to have responded extremely well to be a full go less than a year, way less than a year out from when it happened. And he's full go, full participation from day one of training camp. And he's making an impact. And he looks to have the pep. He looks to be happy. So I want to hear what you guys think. Do you guys think Julian's looked good? Do you think he's looked ready? Are you worried? I highly, highly doubt we see any meaningful snaps from him in preseason. I would be shocked if he plays at all. But I would be shocked almost as much if he is not day one go for week one in Houston. Let me hear it. I want to hear it from you guys. I want to hear it in the comments section. What do you guys think? And, you know, I also want to hear, you know, one of the things that we've talked about is who do you guys want to hear us talk about on these player spotlights? Do you have a player? Drop that in the comment section. I've said that repeatedly. Make sure that you're liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all those great things. If you're subscribed, we love you for it. If you're not, go ahead and hit it. What does it hurt? The season starts in less than in a little over a month. You may like us. We've had Seahawks fans stick around, Niners fans. We've had Ravens fans. We have a lot of fans that just stick around. So make sure that you're dinging that bell. Make sure that you are listening in, that you don't miss what's coming up. We end these things the same way we have always done it. I love you. I know Zach loves you. We're out. <laughs>